Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is I will I will take this composite beam later. I think in one of the tutorial classes. One of the tutorial classes I will take it, but you also read it. What I'm saying, go through the book. At least you should try to understand it. Huh? Now we'll go to the next chapter. See, next chapter, if you see of your book, we have we are on the beam statics is over, chapter 11 is symmetric bending of beam, unsymmetric bending of beam, but then there is also w, w, uh, doubly cross section beam, that, that we will be able to solve. Part A is there in the course, part A of chapter 9 is very much in the course because that can be solved, you know, you, you can solve all the problems by whatever you have, you have covered. Uh, then. Uh, chapter 10 is shear stresses in beams. Uh, where is, yes. And then chapter 11 is uh, stress strain transformation. So we will start with chapter 11. And uh, that is transformation of stresses. First, I will take stresses and then strains. So, first is transformation of stresses. Huh. Yeah, you are taking down notes in your uh, laptop. Huh. No, there are some people you know who can do this very fast. That then you are you are permitted, but provided you take down the notes, huh? Huh. not anything else. Hmm. Huh? Okay, so transformation of stresses. See, we have I have already given you idea about stress at a point. First of all, you must know how to define stress at a point. Stress at a first first is this you must have this concept of stress at a point. This I have already told you right in the beginning, in the beginning of the course. What do you mean by stress at a point? One is if you want to find out stress at a point inside this body, you must have you have to pass a plane passing through that point. Now plane can have any orientation. Hmm? Pass a plane and divide the body into two parts and then at that point because then every point in the cross section will be subjected to some kind of stress distribution, force distribution. A small, a small force will be acting uh, at each and every point. Okay, so there will be DF at that particular point, there will be a DF force. So at that particular point and then there is a small area around it, there will be a DF force. df and normal maybe of this is here normal to the plane is something different df is huh? df is uh, not normal because this is the net force actually there will also be a delta m and so and this is da So this I have taken from the bigger area because this is around point P. A small area DA has been taken and then that point is subjected to a force DF and this is a part of a bigger, bigger plane which you have divided. So one side that means one part of this, this is the body and this has been cut by this plane. So there are two parts, one left other one is right. So, we have taken the point P here and around that we have showing. So, stress at a point is given by this DF has a direction. So, it is a D. Similarly, this also has a direction. So, it is a vector 
and then area also because through the same same point you can pass number of areas orientation of the plane can be different so area also is a vector it is a dependent upon n this n is important n is outward normal this n is outward normal hmm then so what then we we took some some quotients we took df by da and we also took dm by da and then we took limit of this limit as delta a tends to 0 means it will come to point if you take this limit then we say yes this defines this quantity defines a stress a stress vector this is defines a stress vector and this defines a what Huh? Janik sir, what is funny about it? Huh? This is funny? Huh? Huh? No, tell me. Huh? So pay attention. Hmm? Or my face is looking funny. Kya baat hai? I, I cannot see, see my face. Huh? I cannot see my face, so tell me if there is anything. Huh? I should have a mirror. So, and then this one is small m. These are two vectors. So, we call this sigma bar as a stress vector. At point P. And we call M as couple stress. There is a phrase, I mean couple stress. Stress vector at I don't know whether the book book mentions about couple stresses or not. I do not know. Huh? Can somebody tell me whether the book mentions about couple stresses? If you have read, huh? no, it does not mention. Okay. But actually, there is also a moment acting at each and every point on the plane. Because when you cut it, it is a general, you know, a lot of stress distribution. I mean, force distribution will be there, small, small forces. So, there will be a force and a moment, both will be there. So, this is. So this is called a stress vector and that is a, so that is on a plane. Now then we define, we call this stress at a point. Now couple stress, the effect of this, this couple stresses, its relevance comes only in special problems. Like if you want to find out a stress distribution near a hole in a body, hole, or near a crack, Wherever stress concentrations are there, stress concentration means if the body has some similarities, suppose you body is not uniform, homogeneous, you know just like in water, water is flowing in a channel uniformly, so you have, you know streamlines, water streamlines, <laughs> straight lines, you know they flow, if you have a particle that will flow along the river in a channel. So that, uh, uh, but you put you put some um, uh, what do you call uh, obstruction in the water, or you stand in the in the center of the channel. What will happen? The, these stream lines will get disturbed, and around you there will be a lot of stress concentration. You know you will be subjected to a lot of forces. So stress distribution around that point, around the obstruction, is very complex. So such points or such places are called stress concentration. That means your presence has caused stress concentration in the flow of water. 
Similarly, in the structures, in the solid, if you have a void or a crack or a notch, then around that, the behavior will be very complex. So those are points of concentration. And that is why there is a theorem called St. Vinant's principle, which I must have told you in the beginning, that we in this course, we are saying stresses become uniform away from such points. At a fairly significant distance away from that point, everything is uniform. So we are not going close to the point of stress concentration. Wherever you apply a load, suppose in this point is P, very heavy load. So around this point, there will be stress concentration. You cannot find out stresses around this point. Very difficult. So, but then if you take the effect of couple stresses, then it can be found out. So, it is for only small or if you have in a body like this, a notch. And then it is subjective. No, you have created a notch like this. So, this area is very disturbed. Stress concentration. So, for problems where there are stress concentration, concentration, stress concentration, you have to, uh, this M, M is important. Since we are, we are finding out away from such points, we are interested, so we don't take this, we take only this. Only the normal stress, I mean only the simple stress component which is called stress vector at point P. Of course, this is stress vector again because this is in the direction df by a. So, it can be you know you can be it can you can have its component along n then you can also have component along in the plane two direction. It can be uh, split into three three is it not this can be split into three components one normal and two two in the plane, so you get two shear stresses and one normal stress. Concept of one normal stress and shear stress, I think I have explained this very clearly. So at a point, because at a point the stresses can occur on all the mutually perpendicular plane, so you define that yes, as your plane is changing its orientation, it is first x normal, y normal, z normal. So, at least you please find out with reference to your Cartesian system of coordinates. Or you find out with reference to a cylindrical or a spherical coordinate system. Now, there are number of coordinate systems, orthogonal coordinate systems that exist in our uh, theory. These are three simple ones, x, y, z, r theta z and r phi theta. r phi theta is what? Which coordinate system? A spherical. So, these are simple ones, but there are elliptical coordinate system, there are, you know, so many coordinate systems. You can generate number of very special geometries in those coordinate systems. So, we are sticking to only simple coordinate system that is Cartesian. So, you know at a point, if you want to find out stress, so what we do, we construct a small parallelopiped. We construct a small parallelopiped and we define our stresses on three mutually perpendicular planes. So you have at a point this is stress vector is consists of number of components sigma x, sigma y, sigma z, tau xy, tau xz and tau yz. I think this I have already explained earlier, I am just repeating. Now you will say that yes I am repeating, I cannot, I have 
I have no alternative but to repeat. You need... Huh? So, six components are minimum that you ought to know in order to define a stress at a point. Six components. These six components in Cartesian coordinates. Similarly, six components in spherical coordinates. Six components in cylindrical coordinate. You will need six orthogonal. This is again orthogonal coordinate system. So, this is 3D state of state. This is three dimensional. So, we call it 3D at any point in general. But then I have also come that yes, if the if the problem is simple, if you are, if your solid is not three dimensional, it is a simple plane. It is a simple plane means just like a sheet of paper, your solid is a simple plane and then loads are all confined to plane only. Then what kind of stress distribution it is called? Huh? Yes. Huh? Tau Z. Kya ho gaya? Gabar ho gaya puch kya? Oh, achha, huh. This one. Yes. Huh. Thank you, huh. Okay. Yes, you must see. See, they, they, they must point to the same corner everywhere. Arrows must point to the corner, same edge. All right, so this is three dimensional. Now, if you are two dimensional, 2D state of space, 2D. So, so 2D also you have a point in the plane. So, you have a point in the plane. And if loads are all confined to only xy plane, all loads are confined to same xy plane, and this is very thin, very thin body, so this is thin and confined to, so if I take any point here, so I want to find out the state of stress here. So what I will do, I will construct a small square around it. So I am making that square bigger here. So I will, con I will construct a small the rectangular square around the point and I will show the stresses that act on two dimensional, this one. So it will be this. On a positive only I am showing, on a positive x and positive y plane I am showing. So it will be this, it will be this and it will be this and similarly on the other, other you can show. So this is sigma x, tau xy, tau yx, sigma y. So here you have sigma x sigma y and tau xy only, 3. Such a state of stress, so your stress vector here in two dimensional consists of only three components. It is a 2D state of stress and this 2D state of stress is special. This is, this is called what? There is a name, 2D, huh? Yes, yes, huh? Bagaye palas, huh? Plane, plane is strain, stress, it is called plane is stress, plane is stress is state of two dimensional stress, it is called plane is stress. All, all components of stress perpendicular to Z, this is Z na? perpendicular to this plane, they are all zero. On the plane Z. There are no, because the sheet is free, sheet is like this, only this within the body, you know, this one is getting stretched. So, this one is this, this side and this side, they are free, this plane. So, no stresses, that means here you have, you have sigma z, tau zx and tau zy. 
component from this is 0. So, this is plane stress, hmm? plane stress, you know where does plane stress occur in practice? I have given example, quickly tell me, in practice where does plane stress occur? Huh? Stage bully is rasa. Can't dam? Silly. No. Dam is the other type. Where is body thin? Body has to be thin in z direction. And load has to be within the plane only. Masonry walls. Yes, all the walls. All the walls of the building in a state of plane stress. They are under self weight acting under its their own weight so they are in a state of plane stress masonry wall uh, sorry this one the other type of the other type of two dimension is plane strain there is dam the other one is 2d plane strain plane strain means the strain strain perpendicular to the Plane under consideration, they are all zero. Strain components are zero. Here we don't talk of stress. There, stress components were zero perpendicular to in the on a plane z equal to constant or z z plane. Here, supposing z plane is there, all the strains are zero. So, what are the strains? Z plane. If the, if there is a z plane. Z plane means normal to the plane is in Z direction. Normal to the plane is in Z direction. How do you define a plane? Normal. So, Z plane means what? Normal to this is in Z direction. N. So, Z plane, strains are all, all strains. What are the strain components in Z? One is epsilon Z straight away. This is 0. What is other strain that is? Shears, gamma zx and gamma zy. I will not spend time on this. So, there we say this is plane strain state. So, you are left with you are left with only three non zero strains that is epsilon x, epsilon y and gamma xy. These are 0. So, plane strain is this. So, here dam will come. Example is dam. This is an example. You now try to understand and okay. So, these are the two plane strain also is a two dimensional 2D problem. It is, you need to analyze only the plane, cross section of the dam, nothing else. Okay, so two dimension. We will now concentrate here in this course more on plane stress. Two dimensional plane stress. Huh? So 2D, concentrate here. Here. Not that you don't have to do this. Please note, not that you don't have to do this. I am saying just concentrate here on plane stress problem. Hmm? So, concentrate here on plane stress means what? Yes, I have a, a wall and I want the state of stress around a point P. So, I have constructed and then
okay so this is plain stress now transformation i have told you that it is only for convenience that we have taken x y like this tomorrow i want to find out with, with reference to x dash y dash my orthogonal z is remaining same z is same i am just rotating my coordinate system it is x dash y dash let us say this angle theta is is rotated by angle theta so that means now my 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 this one i would like to have my x dash y dash so my element i will at the same point i would like to define my element in this way a parallel to x axis x dash axis parallel to y dash axis and then my stresses will be here sigma x dash sigma y dash then tau x dash y dash same point point is same i am only changing the orientation of my this angle now is making an angle theta with x axis same point only thing i have changed the orientation of my element so now this these values numerically these values will be but but they are the same it is stress at the same point three components with reference to x dash y dash instead of x and y is there any relationship how can we relate these two is our problem so when we say transformation means the relationship between these two in fact if you have already the stresses if you know with respect to one coordinate system it is very easy to yes it they can be transformed with reference to any other coordinate system in the same plane so this is what we will try to see today okay is it clear transformation of stresses don't think that the stress at point p will change yes it will change with respect to the new coordinate system but you are finding out is still the stress at the same point so fourth 30th slide fourth so i have now what i will do i will cut see this one is there na x y because let us say i know this three i know this uh, in a plane stress i know this sigma x sigma y and tau x y this one is known i would like to find out this in terms of i think this i had not i have not done in the first course i mean in the beginning but i have explained i think i did explain this so i think so this one so what i will do the best way to do is you cut this element like this such that this one is x dash i will cut that such that the normal to this is parallel to x dash in which you want to find out so i will have one element so now i will draw a bigger element here so that there is no confusion this is the same element this is a b c these are negative x y yes now this one normal to this is x dash and this one is y dash 
and this angle is I think direction cosines you must be knowing what is the meaning of direction cosine huh? you know that direction cosine cosine of angle between the two huh? two directions two lines cosine of angle is called direction cosine DC hmm? Okay, so what is the stress by acting on this AB plane original? This is what sigma y. This is sigma x. This are this is negative plane. I have cut it now element. So I am I am putting the stresses on the cut plane. I will put it. And this direction will be this is upward. So dear friend I said diagram please make clear and neat diagrams don't try to you know scribble something when you write examination paper that paper is for viewing by examiner it is not a rough paper it must be drawn neatly draw bigger diagrams clear diagrams not one tiny diagram Now here, normal to this plane, what is the stress? Normal to this, I mean tangential to this plane, what is the stress? Tell me quickly, it has to be in this, this is x dash, so sigma x dash. This is what? X dash Y dash, tau. <coughs> ah, so now what is in terms of CD? See, it has got some width, now it stresses act on an area. So width, width perpendicular to the plane of the blackboard is, I'm mean, sorry, plane of the paper now here, not blackboard. Huh? Green blackboard, otherwise I'll have to say, or white black, uh, white board. Huh? Now you have got so many varieties. Earlier we had only one blackboard. Blackboard was was standard. Now you have transformed to green and then white board and so on and so forth. So perpendicular to blackboard or perpendicular to plane of this paper because I'm now sitting. So let us say unit width perpendicular to plane of paper paper width is unity 1 I can take anything dz I can take I can take dz but I am saying unity so that there is some width so now I would like to say that yes this is AB now I can I write down AB, can I express AB in terms of uh, BC, AB in terms of BC please, yes tell me if this angle is theta, so this angle also is theta, so this is equal to AB is BC cos theta. What is AC? AC equal to BC sin theta. See, if I am making any mistake, you tell me. Is it okay? Huh? Huh? What is 90? This one is, oh, 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 yes, this is theta, oh, sorry, sorry, this is, so this one is theta. This is 90, yes, this is mistake, yes, so you should have told me, huh? Yes, this is, so this is theta, so this changes. So this is sine theta and this one is cos theta. Yes, good. So now, 
So I will, I will, I will, uh, I will take component of all forces in x dash direction and y dash direction. So let us sum sigma of all forces. Please write down sigma. So one is sigma x dash into bc multiplied by unity. Why I am multiplying by unity? Equilibrium has to be taken only of forces, not of stresses. Stress cannot, stresses are not forces. They, are, they have a different transformation law. So you have to first transform them into forces. So this is this, normal x dash direction. Then what about, uh, yes please, come to sigma x. Ah, ye, ye, ye kaise maine sab galat likha hai bhai. Aap logo ne bola nahi, ah. you should tell na. This one is what? No, no, this one is y is okay, but how can both, both be one? This one is x, ah. and this one is? Tau, this is tau x y and this one is tau, tau y x. Is it okay? Yes sir. So, so please say that if I make any mistake, so okay. So now, now sigma x, sigma x is there. Now sigma x, this, uh, if I, if I take now draw a line component with horizontal, what it makes angle? Huh? If I draw a line x dash here, I mean x dash minus, so what is this angle? With, with horizontal and this line. So this is, so this line, yeah, so this is theta. This is theta. Yes. Mm. So please write down. Yes, this one component of this in x dash direction will be cosine theta. So sigma x. Uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. This one is acting in this direction. This one is a negative direction. So if you take this is positive, this one is positive. So this one will be negative. Negative sigma x multiplied by AC, AC into 1, this is the area on which it is acting, AC into 1 and then cosine theta. What about this? This will have a component like this and also like this. Tau xy will have a component like this and also a component like this. It can be transformed into two com orthogonal components. So what is this tau xy? So minus tau xy into ac into unity into what? What angle? Sin theta. Very good. Go to the other plane. Come to this plane. This component, now I am drawing a line parallel to x minus x dash. Yes, so what angle is, which angle is theta, which is 9, uh, this angle is 90 minus theta. Ah, this, is, this is theta. Is it okay? Horizontal and this line. So with horizontal, yes, this angle will be theta. Same as this, horizontal, this line will be theta. So sigma y, now sigma y will have two components. Silence this side. Sigma y can be taken a component here and a component in this direction. In x dash direction, in y dash direction. So we are taking component in x dash direction. So that will be sigma y into what? What is the multiplication, what is the area, AB into 1 into what, what angle, this angle, 
cosine 90 minus theta means sine theta. And then minus tau yx ab into 1 into, ah, this one please tell me, this one, it will be in this direction and in this direction. We are not taking y dash direction, we are taking component of this along x dash. So what will be that? Cosine theta. There are practice career iska. Huh? Do practice. So this is what equilibrium in x dash direction has given me. Similarly, similarly, or, or I will do it later. Similarly, no. First, let us see. So therefore, sigma x dash equal to equal to sigma x AC by BC, I am dividing by BC throughout, cosine theta, hmm? is it okay, or we are making a mistake, hmm? okay, okay, let us see. Have you made any mistake? Quickly. Have you made any mistake? I think we have made a mistake. Looks like I have, I have made a mistake. Huh? This is the sine theta. Theta. Plus. See, tau xy and tau yx both are equal. Do you know that they are complementary to each other, they are equal? You know how to prove that? Moment about z axis. If you take, then it will be proved. So, tau that means twice tau xy. Uh, this one will be AC. Or let it be tau xy. I mean, AC by AC by BC. Into sine into sine theta plus tau y x a b by a b by a b by b c into cos theta. Ah yes, please take take it. Now what are these quantities we have already done? Hmm? So sigma x, I think right in the first, we have written here, AB equal to BC sin theta. AC equal to BC sin cosine theta. This one is there. So this one sigma x multiplied by AC by BC. AC by BC equal to cosine theta. So this one will be cosine theta into cosine theta. Get it? So what will be there here? cos square theta plus sigma y AB by BC. See, it is very simple, provided you understand. So, what is the next one? AB by BC. AB by BC is sin theta. So, this is sin theta. There is already a sin theta of sin square theta. What is this? Tau xy. AC by BC is what? Huh? Cosine theta. So, sine theta, cosine theta. Sine theta, cos theta. And what is tau yx? AB by BC. AB by BC is sine theta and there is already cosine theta. So, it is again sine theta, cos theta. Or we can write it sigma x cos square theta plus sigma y sin square theta. Now I can write twice. See, earlier I, I should not have written twice, you know, then, then there would have been. Now tau xy equal to tau yx because this is common. Huh? So I can write two times tau xy sin theta cos theta equal to 
So I have got a transformation rule. I can find out sigma x dx in terms of my original coordinate system. So it is not something new. If you know with respect to one coordinate system, similarly you please do it for tau x dash y dash. By the way, this is written in terms of twice the angle coordinate system, two times the coordinate system. So this can be rewritten. I will I will just it can be finished, you know. I think just just stay with me, otherwise it will be left. Uh, this is which one was there? 3, 4, this is what, 5 only, uh, hmm. 6, so this is written as you remember this formula, whatever in this one. Now then sin, sin x, cosine square theta can be written in two in two theta form. There is a formula now. What is what is that? Cosine square theta minus sin square theta equal to cos two theta. Huh? So I will I will write it in, in term in terms of cosine. Huh? Yes, in two. So, huh? how much? No, 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 no. Let me first of all set this. Cos 2 theta r cosine. Sine square theta equal also equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So, plus, so it is also 2 cos square theta minus 1 equal to this or it can also be written as 1 nice uh, supposing I, I change this to 1 minus sin square theta so it can also be written is huh? 2 2 sin square theta is it okay huh? this is okay all the three cos 2 theta and similarly sin square so cos 2 theta, so I, I want to use cos 2 theta sin hmm, in, in 2 theta form. I want to write it in, in 2 because this one is already sin 2 theta form. This one is sin 2 theta. Okay, so please write down it, this, this in terms of sin 2 theta and uh, so this is this one will be so cosine square theta equal to cosine square theta will be cos 2 theta minus 1 is it huh? Huh? 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 okay okay let us see yes yes i am not very good at it yes yes 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 theek hai cos square theta plus sigma y sigma y kya karenge sigma y sin square theta sin square theta is here uh, that is twice so 1 minus cos 2 theta 1 minus cos 2 theta by by, by 2 na so this is okay and plus tau x y into yes so this can be written as uh, this can be written as sigma x see i will take sigma x here and sigma y here i will write sigma x plus sigma y by 2 sigma x from here and sigma y from here and then uh, here sigma x and sigma y, one is minus. So plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta. Okay? Is it okay or not? Yes. And plus 
This is tau x y is okay. Plus tau x y sine two theta. I hope I have not. So this one is used. Okay, okay, sine 2 theta is sine 2 theta. Okay, this one is used more often. You should remember this formula. So, this is an important formula of transformation. So, similarly, you please find out, I will not derive now, you please find out the transformation rule. So, this is called transformation rule. This is what is the chapter, transformation of his Similarly, find out what is tau x dash y dash equal to. You can find out now nah? huh? by taking sum of all forces in by taking sum of all forces in y dash direction. So please do that. So I will not do that. I will only need the so next. So transformation is over of stresses for plane stress problems. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so thank you, you can go, thank you very much.